What's up interwebs? We're going to talk about chain line on the BBS HD today. Basically chain line is the angle that you end up between this part of the motor and your rear sprocket. So our example bike is a um, internally geared hub but uh, most people who end up with this issue meaning it's a single speed. Most people end up with this issue are um, multi-speed. But just for demonstration's sake, this bike was the one that needed the most adjustment just because of the suspension setup on it. So we're gonna show you what's going on with this one. First thing I'm gonna do is kind of show you how to adjust your HD in your bottom bracket. So we're gonna move over here. I'm going to try and get you the best angle I can so that you can see what's going on. So there you can see, if you look right here, the tolerance between the HD and the swing arm here is close. So what we had to do, originally it wouldn't fit, it would just run right into it. So what we did was, if I pull this out a little bit, you can see we've got some shims in there. And we've got it spaced out so that it will clear that swing arm. There we go, we got it in focus there. Okay, so with those shims, we're just touching, but the way the swing arm travels, it moves up, so it moves away from the, the uh, mid drive. So once you shove that in there, and tighten everything down. I'm just gonna do a quick snug on it real quick so we can kind of show you what's, what our options are for chain rings. Okay, so that's, that's just finger tight. And actually, I can squeeze it in there a little bit more. All right. So now we're finger tight, and you can see that gap is really, really close in there. I'm going to zoom it in so you can kind of see better. You can't see through there at all. It's just barely touching. So now we've got the drive set up to the right distance on the bottom bracket. The next step is once you've got that set up, you know, maybe the steel chain ring puts your chain line too far out. So, or maybe the steel chain ring is gonna run into your swing arm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you our different options for chain rings that we've got. So right here, I've got all of our options laid out for spacing out the chain line. So the first thing we've got, which is gonna set the deepest, is the 25 millimeter eclipse. And the 25 millimeter refers to the distance from the face, if I flip it over, you'll see from this face here to the teeth. So that one's gonna give you the deepest uh, chain line, but you have to take into consideration that depending on what bike you're using, this may run into the swing arm. So if we go back over here, get our tripod out of the way. We've already run this, but you can see it's pretty close. I'm trying to get this thing to focus for you. There you go. So it clears, but it's close. And I've actually seen it closer than that on other bikes. And as long as you're clear, you should be fine. You just need, I mean, it could be less than a millimeter. So then back over here, we've got the other options. So if, if that had been hitting the swing arm, then we could try the steel chain ring, which is the next deepest at 19 millimeters, or the Lecky chain ring, 
which is 11 millimeters, or the Bafang alloy, which is 9 millimeters. And then we also have the option of using a spacer with any of those chain rings. The spacer will space that chain ring back out another 3 millimeters. Or if you really wanted to get crazy, you could use a couple spacers and longer bolts. But basically, you're going to choose whichever one fits. In this case, we're going to use this one, whichever one fits your application. So for this bike, and please don't tell Eric we took apart his dream bike to make this video, but we're going to use this one because Eric likes to go fast. So we're giving him that big front sprocket. But since we have the single speed, we don't really have that much of a problem, but we still want to get as close as we can. So as you can see, that one is just right in there. So now the next step would just be bolting everything together and giving it a test run. All right, guys, any questions, let us know. Thanks.